I don't know, I'd just be in shock, honestly. I'd be like, what the f***? Uh, you would be too if you were shot twice by a BB gun while driving. Cape Coral police say someone shot a driver on Veterans Parkway near Skyline Boulevard and then just took off. And this is not the first time shots were fired on that busy road. NBC2's Gage Golding is uncovering the violence on our streets. The unidentified driver was headed down Veterans Memorial Parkway on Saturday. They told police a red SUV pulled up and the passenger shot them in the head and the neck with a BB gun. I don't know, I'd just be in shock, honestly. I'd be like, what the f***? Put yourself in the victim's shoes. It's just before 2 in the afternoon in broad daylight. and You get shot with a BB gun while sitting in your car. That's a movie for real. It happened here at the intersection of Veterans Parkway and Skyline Boulevard. The victim called Cape Police. They told officers they're okay and didn't want to press charges. <laughs> Veterans Parkway is one of the Cape's main arteries. It's chaotic. It's really chaotic. But also a hot spot for hot-headed drivers. It is crazy. People always roll rage and honking, man. It's not good. This past weekend wasn't the first time someone pulled a gun on a fellow driver. Just down the road at the intersection of Skyline Boulevard, a man pulled a gun on another driver after the two road raged. Police say the man who wasn't arrested wouldn't let another vehicle pass. When they finally did, he's accused of throwing rocks at their car, which led the victim to follow him to a parking lot where the gun was pulled. With my kids in my car, I just, no, it's, it's not acceptable. To be that over the top, there's, there's never a reason to be that over the top. To pull a gun, you know, there's, there's better ways. Thankfully, tragedy was avoided in both of these incidents. However, a story like this could be totally avoided. Just go into wherever you gotta go. You don't need to shoot nobody just because they cut you off. It's not that deep. Life goes on, man. Reporting in Cape Coral tonight, Gage Golding, NBC2.